I'll just make a little start on the uh, RX-7 bait. Started a little bit clean on this side. I haven't put any uh, acid on it yet or anything, but you see a difference. And I'm taking off these here. I think there might be an issue. So I'm going to clean it up and um, clean up the edges and take them off for now before I paint it in case they get in the way of anything. So yeah, make a start on this and um, clean out this side. And I'm going to take the servo off and take everything out, take all these pipes off. and Yeah. That's it man, get it all cleaned up, ready for painting. This is the RX-7 engine bay, now it's all cleaned up, I'm going to start painting it. Oh, quite clean to be fair. Use this stuff here as a recommendation from my friends. Traffic film remover, rinsed it off with water, it's come out quite nice. Okay, not the prettiest job and I didn't mask up the um, <laughs> servo, but yeah, whatever, I'll just brush it in white. Some of the lines in, I'll just go over them with a bit of brake cleaner or something, but hey, she's looking. I needed to brush up a few bits around the strut tops where I sort of um, put too much on, but you know, it's looking good, man. It's looking, looking nice and clean in there. Yeah, it's looking nice and clean down there. Looking nice and clean, don't look at the servo. It's all looking really nice, man. Looking really nice. That bit there, obviously, before, it looked pretty mank. Looking pretty nice. A bit of water in there. Drop that. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'm very happy how it's come out. The next step is to get the one user out, mock it all up, and um, put one user on there. <laughs> mock it all up, and um, yeah, it's basically make some engine mounts on there. Got some metal for that. Nice. Thick gauge steel, pretty chunky. So these will be reinforcement plates for the chassis rails. Happy days. That's it. Thank you. Cleaned up and painted the engine bay on the RX-7. Just pulling the wire in apart and stuff, getting ready to take the engine out of the one you said. Right, that's about it for today. Unplugged most of the loom. This is what one man can do to the ULEZ in less than half a day. Fuck your ULEZ, stick it up your ass, no one wants it, and this is what we'll do every time. I'm calling all people that want to take down these shit cunts. All you need is a 10 mil socket, yeah, very cheap to buy, to put in your impact drill. They're cheap to buy as well too. And you need a TX30 star bit. I'm trying to see if I can focus that. Yeah, TX30 star bit. And we'll just keep taking them down. Fuck you, Sadiq Khan. Fuck you, globalist shit cunts. Fuck your ULEs. It might take your blokes half a day to put one up. It takes me less than a minute to take one down. So fuck your fucking ULEs, shit cunts. This is our country and we're taking it back.